What's up? It's your girl Latoya Abra, known as LA the Life. And look, I got an update on my 12 year old that left the house without my permission and came home at 11 with a boy. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Beans, right? Jesus Christ and Byron. Who? All right, so I just want to say, first of all, I mentioned that I was woken up out of my sleep, so I still was trying to gather myself together. All right, that's number one. Uh, a lot of people was like the siblings. We were all shocked because we could not believe what our eyes was witnessing, what was going on. This is like new to us, especially my kids. My daughter um, that was standing at the door that opened it, uh, she's 20 years old. So none of my older kids, nobody has ever done this type of behavior, you know, snucking out at 12, showing up with a boy, just weird stuff. This is all foreign to us. Um, I did re react because, you know, I'm like, what the hell? I, I, once I walk, I'm like, who is he? Now, I do, I am familiar with that young man, okay? he. I actually met him once before. He goes to school with her. He is a child. He is a teenager, okay? Um, his family is amazing. I um I have nothing but respect for that family. I didn't I I didn't remember his face. You know, like I said, I had just woke up. I kind of was distraught a little bit. Um, so I, I wish I did hide his face because I respect the family. Um, his dad worked on my car. Him and his dad worked on my car free of charge. All right. Took me to get the part, put it on, said he would not charge me, and I did feed them. I'm like, hey, well, he didn't want to take money. I was like, well, since you don't want to take the money. I will give you something to eat. So I fed him and his family. He has a wife. Wife is beautiful. Uh, real genuine people. Real genuine with people. Um, we found out we had something in common. We both lived in Atlanta. He grew up in Atlanta. I was there about 10 years. Real cool people. If I had known that she was going to their house and I talked to them, they were okay with it, I would have said, yeah, because they are, they are respectful. I respect that family. They respect me. Um, and that's probably about the only people in the neighborhood, uh, that I, I have met and was like, okay, they cool. Um, but she didn't ask me. Okay. And from what I was told is that the father is ill. He's sick. So prayers to the father. Um, the mother was helping aid him. And I guess I so happened to come over there. Uh, Sire volunteered. Now let me say something about, so I want to give some pros about her. Cause I, the video just messed me up and it went viral. Y'all saying all kind of crazy stuff. She's not a fast little girl. Um, she actually enjoys playing with kids that are younger than her. So when she do leave the house, when I find her or when she's found, she's always found with kids um, that are in elementary school. Okay. And um, she goes to play with them because she has access to get on TikTok to do videos. She's not allowed to be on social media at my house. And it's for safety uh, reasons. Um, so that's what she's, when she sneaks out, that's what she's doing. So she ended up helping the mother with the two younger siblings um while the mother was aiding the father now they were being monitored and supervised as well um she helped put the baby to sleep because they have a baby um and once the baby was uh in the bed sleep that's when they took her home so the mother the son and the babies got in the car and took her home but the son walked her up so as y'all see he was looking like confused he didn't understand what was going on because he was not aware either that she was not supposed to be over there he didn't know that she had snuck out the house um, so I just want to put take ease off of that. So I did sit down and talk to him. I was just like, oh, I, I want to go talk to the father, but I'm gonna wait till he get well. And I'll go talk to him. The wife doesn't speak a, a whole lot of English. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to talk to her right now unless her son, you know, would translate because I'm not real fluent in um, Spanish. Um, but I, uh, the family is dope. Okay. All respects to them. I'm thankful that she's not out there being fast and um, doing things with other little boys. Like I said, I always find her with little kids in the neighborhood. And if I knew these people, I wouldn't mind. But we did have a situation where uh, I tried getting um, cool with a family, but the little girl that my daughter is friends with lied on me. She didn't even know me. Lied on me three times. Um, her mom chest tied, you know, got her and said her dad was going to whip her ass for lying because they caught her on, you know, it was on camera that she was lying. But the last time it uh, resulted in her father putting a gun in my face. So I said, no, my kids will not be playing with nobody because I didn't take that lightly or easy with somebody putting a gun in my face in front of my children. 
So that's that. All right. And the ones that got it, um, I'm glad y'all receiving it. The ones that don't, I don't care. I don't give a damn about y'all opinions. Y'all can take it and shove it up your ass is all I care. Because I'm going to keep doing what I do. I know what I do and who I am. And there's so much more behind what's going on. So, yeah, we'll be talking about it more. All right. I can put on here what I want. Okay. If y'all want to keep y'all lives private, keep it private. That's what you do, baby.